how freaking cute is this guy? This bag actually came from the coach outlet. We're all on the edge of our seats. <laughs> Starting to kind of get, you know, the fall vibes. Welcome to this week's vlog. I've had quite a busy Friday so far. I went and I got my nails done. As you guys saw, you guys, I'm obsessed with these. These came out so good. I think I threw off my nail girl because I've never requested anything like even close to this before. And when I went there and I showed her the picture, she was like, what? She thought I was just trying to ask for like a regular French tip. So initially she pulled out the white and I was like, no, 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 no. I actually want the green that's in that photo. So these are kind of like an ombre tip green into a nude color. I love them. These are definitely the funnest nails I've ever done. And I just can't stop looking at my hands because they look so freaking good. But as soon as I got home after I finished my lunch, I've been styling outfits for tomorrow's shoot. I'm meeting up with Michelle and Tustin and we're gonna just shoot a few outfits, just like our regular shoot days. Not any type of like exciting location this time, although our next shoot, I will tease, is gonna be a very exciting location. I put up a poll seeing if you guys could guess where we are gonna go for our little day trip and I'm not gonna give it away in this vlog, but some of you are correct. It's also very hot right now, so I am like, trying to finish styling so that I can get back downstairs where it's cooler. But luckily all of the outfits are done. The only thing that I need to do right now is pack up the jewelry that I'm gonna wear with all these outfits, which brings me to this little jewelry haul that I wanted to show you guys. All of the jewelry pieces that I'm gonna be wearing in tomorrow's outfits were sent to me from the brand Vitaly. So thank you so much to Vitaly for sending me all of these pieces. They are a Canadian jewelry brand and they specialize in very unique designs and genderless jewelry. So if your man likes to wear jewelry, you can definitely get some pieces to share with him or keep it all for yourself whatever you want to do sky's the limit but I was so excited when they reached out to me because everything on their website looks like it's amazing quality and they have so many unique pieces that I haven't seen anybody else do before and then also a lot of really good basic staple chains pendants bracelets rings all of that kind of stuff so they let me pick out a few pieces from their website that I'm going to share with you guys right now as I pack them up to take to my shoot tomorrow I got three different necklaces a couple of them are chains a ring and a pair of earrings starting out here with the ring first off everything comes packed 
packaged really, really nicely. I like the all black look and then it just says Vitaly right here on the cover sleeve. And then the box design is really interesting. All of them have this like little shape in here. I just love it when companies carry their branding through everything. But this first piece is their flow ring and here's what it looks like. It's kind of like a Z shape and then I got it in this beautiful gold color. I am obsessed with chunky rings. You guys know I have like those daily rings that I wear and I feel like this one is going to be a great addition to the set. I got mine in a size 7 so for me this one can fit on my pointer finger as long as it's not too hot. That one's a little bit tight. I can also do it on my middle finger or I can do it like on my pointer finger or middle finger on the other side and I just love how chunky this is on my hand. Even though I have a smaller hand I just really love the way that chunky jewelry looks on me and this ring is stainless steel so you know it's going to be like really really good quality and you're going to be able to wear it a lot without it getting too thrashed. Next up in here I believe these are yes these are the earrings again we've got the sleeve on the outside really really nice box and then I've actually wanted earrings like this for a little while now. These are their path earrings and I like the fact that they individually wrap each of them that's a really nice touch and then you can use these to actually clean off and polish your jewelry but I have been wanting a pair of chain link earrings for a little while while now so I grabbed these in gold and these are totally what I've been wanting. I actually want to get a second piercing in my lobes fairly soon so I would love these on like an earring stack. I think this with like a small gold hoop next to it would be really really cute or even with a stud but oh my god I am obsessed with these. Oh I love how cute are these and they're actually not too heavy. I was kind of worried how heavy it would be because it does look very chunky but it's actually not too bad. So yeah I'm sure I'm gonna be wearing these a lot. Then let's move on to a couple of the chains. So this first chain is their halo chain and this one is the lighter of the two chains that I got. Again it comes wrapped up in this cloth which I can use to polish the jewelry as needed but... Ooh, this is actually the first time that I fully unwrapped it. Like, I took a sneak peek at all of these, but I haven't fully unwrapped the necklaces and the chains. But like I said, this one is their halo chain. It has this like ring here at the bottom and then you string this little bar through it. Oh, this hangs perfectly. I wanted this to kind of be like a mid-length between like having a shorter chain and then a longer pendant. So I think that this is definitely the perfect size for me. And then the other chain that I got is going to be a lot thicker, a lot chunkier. Comes with the same polish thing on it and this one is their transit chain. This one has a little hook on the back here and just loop it through and I guess you could actually wear this with the hook in the front. It's like nice and aesthetic so I think you could totally do that or if you wanted just the chain you could totally do that and oh my god these layered together is so cute. I love it. That's like what I was aiming for when I ordered each of the chains and the necklaces was I wanted to create a stack using all Vitaly necklaces so these two together totally work. I love them. I love how chunky this chain is. And then this last necklace is my favorite piece. I was so so excited about this one. This is their gummy bear necklace and you guys I love gummy bears. If you guys watched the last vlog you guys saw me eating gummy bears. I, I really really love gummy bears. Haribo gummy bears are life. But so when I saw that they had a gummy bear pendant I was like Please give it to me. I got mine in the gold. I believe it comes in gold and in silver. And I think both of these necklaces as well come in either gold or silver. So you can totally pick which one. How freaking cute is this guy? There we go. Okay, perfect. And then this gummy bear hangs just a little bit lower than the halo chain. Oh my god, this necklace stack. I am so obsessed. I think it looks so good. I'm so excited to wear these with the outfits tomorrow. But I love all of the pieces that I got from Vitaly. I am so, so impressed with the quality and just how good everything feels. I've been wanting to invest in better jewelry lately and this is definitely a company that I can get behind and that I would want to get more pieces from. Especially with my style being a little bit more on the edgier street style side. I feel like these genderless pieces just kind of work a little bit better with with how I like to style myself but as you guys can see they do have some pieces that can definitely be very feminine on their own like this halo chain worn by itself I think could be really feminine and pretty if you guys want that even layered with this gummy bear piece or if you guys are looking for more genderless pieces that you guys can share with your man again the halo one would definitely be a good one as well as the transit chain and I think that the ring would also be a really good one to share but if you guys like any of these pieces or want to check out Vitaly they were also kind enough to provide a discount link for you guys which I will have in the description below so if you guys are interested 
in them and you want to save 20%, just click that link and it will automatically apply my discount for 20% off for your entire order site wide. So thank you again so much to Vitaly for sending me all these pieces. But for right now, I have a lot more prep I have to get done before tomorrow's shoot because I am also going to film a couple of videos beforehand. So I just want to make sure that everything is packed up and ready to go so I can just grab it all and take it out the door. So I will see you guys a little bit later. All right, hello and good morning. Oh my gosh, this is not angled correctly. One sec. And that's as high up as it goes, so sorry I'm cut off. But it's currently Saturday. I'm meeting up with Michelle and Tustin in a couple hours, but I still need to film a video. But I do want to whiten my teeth while I'm doing my makeup, so I'm just trying to finish up my coffee. I figured I might as well get started on packing everything. You guys saw me styling all of this yesterday, but I'll give you guys a little rundown of what I'm shooting today. The first thing that I'm shooting is the Abercrombie and Fitch Traveler dress. Michelle and I are actually doing a collab review on this. I'm reviewing the petite one and she is going to review the tall one. So we are both shooting our looks for this video. And I plan on wearing this one last because this dress is so freaking comfortable. Obviously, I'll tell you guys more about it when that video comes out. I think we're putting it out the Sunday after this video. Then this next look is for Shoe Dazzle. The bag is from Amazon. If you guys saw my Amazon video, it was the video before this, but I'm shooting these pants, which are like this cargo style cream pant. I really like these. I think that these are so cute. They fit so well, but I will say they are kind of see-through. So if you guys order these or want these, just know you have to wear nude underwear or just go commando whatever you want to do i suggest nude underwear and then i'm gonna pair it with this bodysuit this is the levy bodysuit from princess polly i got it a little while back but they still do carry it it's kind of like a staple style and then this is the outfit i'm gonna wear out this is the bodysuit that i had tailored this one is from boohoo and i just i really love it i'm gonna pair it with this gold chain belt, but I'm gonna actually wear it while I'm filming my video. That way, once I'm done filming my hair review video, I am gonna be reviewing this Kristen S two inch barrel curling iron. This is like supposed to be able to give you a fake blowout, so I'm gonna attempt to do that to my hair, but I'll wear this outfit for it. But I think that that's it. I just need shoes. Grab these shoes, these are from Shoe Dazzle as well. I'm gonna wear them with the all white outfit. Then for the traveler dress, I said I'm shooting two different looks with it. One of the looks that I'm shooting for the thumbnail for my video is like kind of a colorful look. So I have these blue booties that I'm gonna throw in. I'm also gonna shoot that dress with these chunky Fila sneakers. And then I actually am missing a bag that I wanted to unbox for you guys. So let me go grab it and we'll do a little coach bag unboxing. If you guys saw my fashion file review video, you know that I tried to order a Versace waist bag and it just didn't work out. I ended up having to return it. But I did mention in that video that there was a coach waist bag, fanny pack, bum bag, whatever you want to call it, that I wanted instead. And I was trying to decide between the black one and the white one. So I put up a poll on Instagram and it turns out I didn't even have to do that. They sold out of the black one, which I was sad about because I actually did prefer that one and that one was actually winning the poll. But on further research, I found a just completely different waist bag that I loved even more. So I went ahead and ordered it here. So I'll do a little unboxing for you guys. This bag actually came from the Coach outlet. So the box and everything isn't like as fancy as like a regular Coach delivery would be. But it does come wrapped up in like the plastic bag on the outside says Coach. It does not come with a dust bag, which made me kind of sad, but it's fine. I get it. It's the Coach outlet. But here is the bag that I got I love this waist bag this is so much better than either of the two that I had originally been looking at it's so big it's honestly got so much room I honestly think that I could fit almost everything that I put in my purse in here just because it has a ton of room here is the big pocket you can just like stuff so much in here and then it also has a little pocket in the back here for your cards or whatever then it has this front pocket for even more room. And this pocket size is perfect to just like throw your cell phone in, throw some cash in, your chapstick, whatever. It has like a ton of room as well. So this thing is honestly like as good as bringing a full on purse. But for the design on the outside, the front pocket right here is black, but the rest of the body on the big pocket is the brown coach monogram print. And then it has like some black edging over here. And then the straps are black with a gold accent. And I did tell 
test this one out. This one does work so much better lengthwise for a crossbody. It's actually very long. It can go even longer than this, but I like this kind of length on me. I feel like this is perfect, but yeah. This is what it looks like on. This is totally what I was looking for. It's like at a good comfortable length so I can like reach in and grab anything I want. And I think my camera can actually even fit in here, which is such a bonus. So I'm going to shoot this as well today, but I just wanted to share that with you guys and kind of follow up on that fashion file review, let you guys know what I got instead. And this one is a 10 out of 10. I'm totally going to keep this one. So this is my new little waist bag. I'll go ahead and pack it up in the bag and then I got to get going on my makeup so that I can film my other video. So I'll probably see you guys when I'm leaving to go shoot. Okay, so I just arrived here in Tustin and it is so gloomy. It's actually just gloomy all over Southern California right now, apparently. It's like so dark if I put you guys here, but... Okay, here we go. Michelle is coming from Chino, which is about 40 hours away. And in fact, over there, she said it's actually raining. So I don't know what's going on today. It's like the middle of summer right now. I don't understand. We just decided we're going to try to like wait it out. It looks like it's going to start clearing up between 2.30 and 3. And we might start to get some sun then. So we're just going to pop over to Morning Lavender once she gets here. And just like have a snack have some coffee and just chill for like an hour or so and then we're gonna start trying to shoot just because whenever we shoot when it's really really gloomy and especially right now it's a gray gloomy the photos just don't come out very well it's like very very hard to edit them and they just look really dull as opposed to like when it's gloomy but it's like a little bit of a brighter gloomy we can make that work but this is like a straight up gray so neither of us have eaten yet today so we figure might as well wait it out and grab a snack for right now and see if we can get some sun a little bit later and she's here. Hello there. Yeah. Hi. She made it. She made it. <laughs> Just in time for us to snack. I know. <laughs> Drove the gates, feeling anxious around 12 a.m. Yeah. Just move, but might move it all out again. This feel like deja vu. Swear last year my brain bought the same thoughts through. I blame the things I do. Only difference is I ain't in school. You heard that news? I flip birdies to these worms in suits. See, getting moved in a couple months. So we need a new place to go get shit done. Now I got my old flow. East Coast inspired. Ain't no biggie when I hit the whiskey, nothing that dark. Michelle's in a rush right now. She's buying a knit throw. Try face ID. <laughs> Face not recognized. <laughs> We're like, it's like you have makeup on. <laughs> We're like in a race right now because there's one left. One left. So she's trying to get it for pickup. We're to pick up within two hours. I go to the wrong Target. Oh my god! Please don't. I wish Target like worked with people so that I could like find promo codes. Right. We got this. You can get the last one. We're like racing before like someone in the store buys it. I didn't mean it. She's almost there, you guys. <laughs> it it took my card out. Oh, I hate that. Because I added the stupid... If they can't find it, oh, it'll just sweet. refund me. Okay, yeah. good. Well, either way, she has the request in, so it's up to Target to find the last remaining one. Yeah, better find it. I'm so excited. I'm so She'll excited. text me so I can alert this vlog yeah. <laughs> about whether or not I'll let they you guys got. know, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> You'll know by the end of this vlog whether I got it or not. So I ran back to my car to go get my fanny pack and Michelle loves it so much. She's like asking to try it on. Here you go. It looks so good. It's so cute. I'm so happy with it. Oh my God, that looks so great on you. Like, this looks so perfect with your outfit. You got do you need it? Do you do you want to borrow it? For <laughs> <laughs> what are the kids talking about these days? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I love it. Between Trevor's backpack and that, I may only use that when we go do our thing in November. I love it. Like, that can fit so much. I, like, love it. I, I'm obsessed with it. You know me, I love a fanny pack. Yeah. Said we cool, but you a liar on some bitch shit. You see big bodies, then my clothes bros. If you ain't by me, you can stay home. We ain't chemo sabis, don't get too close. Might get burned by wasabi, watch where that nose goes. You acting fishy, I'm praying on California Rose. I'm talking Hollywood movies, coming after the music. The takeover be looming. All your shit be amusing. Your best bars make me snicker like the. So we're on our last looks. I'm shooting the Abercrombie dress. Michelle already shot hers. The sun has finally started to come out on our last look course we don't need her anymore i know we could have used her like an hour ago but whatever yeah. just being a bitch <laughs> whatever no it's fine though it's, it's fine. fine yeah i know i don't need your help for my photos fuck you <laughs> Ooh, these are actually really good 
You are welcome. Thanks. Sarah. Follow Sarah on Instagram. <laughs> Follow me if you would like to see Sarah's work. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> my email's below if you want to. Yeah. If you want my rates. <laughs> Michelle and I are being indecisive on where to eat again. She still needs to film her last look. But I'm gonna do what we did when we were in Long Beach. And I'm gonna go to the random name picker. Oh my god, it still has our, our stuff saved <laughs> from, last from the last time in here. Our options are Black Marlin, Roma, Italia, and Hang on. <laughs> That's like there's two. <laughs> uh, what did we eat here last time? Um, there's green barbecue. We yeah, that, I wouldn't say no. Okay, so so we could add that. Like I, if that got picked, good. I wouldn't be sad. But I yeah. would want to call ahead and check because that one's yeah. like long. There was that like American place last time where we got those fries. I really wish that they could see your face right now. Um, it, like we got like those fries. <laughs> I was just repeating to myself. Yeah, I was like, we got a burger. I got wings. It was a while. Are you sure that was here? Yeah. I don't remember the name of that though. It's like American something. Oh. That's why you can find it American. Okay, yeah, you can throw that one. Okay. I'm just gonna put in American. <laughs> just type, yeah, I was gonna say just put in American. I'm like trying to think if there's anything else over here. I mean, if there is, I'm just like. Yeah, I don't remember uh, what. Oh, Tessa Brewing Company. This dress is like the same color as my skin. It, it's, oh my god, it totally is. Yeah. Okay. I need to get a promise. And picking a random name. We're all on the edge of our seats. <laughs> Do I just not have service? I have service. <laughs> I wish you guys could see the look that Sarah just gave me. Just. <laughs> I didn't even. Black Marlin. Okay. Seafood. That, it is. Seafood, that was Trevor's suggestion. So yeah. we're gonna go get seafood after we're done shooting Michelle in her yeah. flesh colored dress. <laughs> is she naked? Is she, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we just got done shooting. We're walking over to Black Marlin, Ooh. which is across from Roma d'Italia, which every time we've always gone to Roma d'Italia from where we usually park, yeah. we're always like, oh, we have to drive because yeah. it's, it's too far to walk. We have to drive. It's a five minute walk. This yes. is our first time in like two years <laughs> and walking. Yeah, we're just walking. <laughs> Cause we're in AIDS. We did now. <laughs> and the parking there is like, there isn't a lot of it. So yeah. I feel like I've stressed out about the parking here. You know what the other thing is too with it? We usually go like when it's darker. So That's I think we true. just don't want to walk That's when it's true. Like crazy Cause it's like dark. nighttime. Yeah. We haven't been here during the summer. That's true. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. I mean, that's why. Yeah. We'll go with that. We'll go. Yeah. <laughs> But this kid just need a hundred grand Just some private to show my mama I really got it Be screaming llama llama one day on the cruise show Mood so elevated nowadays Picture that Why she came and left I never Hello, saw Hello, it's Sunday now I'm going to brunch with my girlfriend I'm running a little bit late But we're gonna go to social Which is literally five minutes away from my place And I've never been So I'm excited to finally try it But for my outfit I'm just wearing this like sweater like gray crop top, pair of ripped jeans, and then these are my shoe dazzle black heels that I was wearing. One of my looks yesterday, I don't think you guys saw them, but I am trying to rush right now. I just got so behind this morning. It took me a lot longer to get ready than I anticipated, so I'm trying to rush now. She's running late too, so luckily she's not sitting there waiting for me, but we do have a reservation, so hopefully they'll still hold it for us. Fit, new watch, fresh kicks, boy walk, hit the spot with whole squad, rolling up like big shot, big shot. Never is when I stop, hit the highway one, now we headed for the boardwalk. What's it? Cool sir, what's it? Cool sir, I rap, boy walk, boy walk, boy walk. What's it? Cool sir, what's it? Cool sir, I rap, boy walk, boy walk. Look, many, 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 many. Me riding double shot like dropping to the summer zone. Catch me with a baddie from Selena's Den. Alright, it's later at night. Spartacus is asleep. That's what the snoring is in the background. He's so cute. But I've been working on editing, as you guys can see. But at brunch, we had like two bottles of champagne. 
and neither of us could drive so we decided as you guys saw to like uber over to the boardwalk and play like some games and stuff then I finally came home and Trevor and I just had some sushi which I still need to clean up behind me but I was editing this vlog and I just feel like it was just a little bit short and I had wanted to go to Trader Joe's today because there's some new stuff in at Trader Joe's and I obviously didn't get to I ended up having too much fun with my friend which is totally fine I'm just gonna prop you guys down here please don't mind <laughs> oh my god my freaking carpal tunnel brace I have been oh Smart just kicked the camera. That was a little bit rude, Bubba's. Anyways, I have been having carpal tunnel issues, especially when I sleep. It goes numb at night, and then I wake up in the morning. So I was told to start wearing a carpal tunnel brace while I'm having the symptoms, when I'm doing things like working on editing and stuff, and then if I need to sleep with it. So that's what that is. Please don't mind. I'm just getting old. But I'd wanted to go to Trader Joe's because there's like some new stuff already coming in and I just didn't get a chance to today because like I said I was just having so much fun with my friends. So instead I'll go tomorrow. So I think we'll do a little Trader Joe's haul to end off this vlog. I'll film it when I go tomorrow. But she and I at brunch planned, well, she was already going to San Diego to visit a couple friends of ours. They bought a house and she was like, hey, if you're free that weekend, do you want to come with me? So no, I'm going to be going to San Diego in like three weeks or so from now. So a little San Diego vlog coming up. Don't know how much I'm going to be filming there just because I'm going to be staying at someone's house, but I will try to film a little bit for you guys and vlog that weekend. But yeah, I just ended up planning a little impromptu weekend getaway, which I'm happy about. I'm always happy to visit my friends from high school and stuff. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. Vlogs headed over. I did 100% want to kind of check out what's new at Trader Joe's and share that with you guys. So I'm going to get to bed here with my freaking club hand. This is your 30s, guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow after I run my errands. All right, back from Trader Joe's. I've just been working all day, so nothing that interesting in them. I need to film I think my favorites video after I unpack all this but like I said I wanted to do a quick little Trader Joe's haul with you guys and actually I think I'm gonna keep going tonight on this vlog because I bought something that I kind of want to put together for dinner so we'll give that a try there was like a new pasta sauce that Trader Joe's has and I'm really excited to try it I've been wanting to try it for like a couple weeks now so maybe we'll do a little first impressions of that but let me just like kind of go through everything that I got here starting off with this salad kit this salad kit is my favorite salad kit it's their Zatar Tango salad kit it's got lettuce sweet diced dates toasted sesame seeds salted pistachio pieces flatbread strips and a cucumber yogurt so I just take some shredded chicken and add it to this and it's like the perfect lunch or dinner seriously so good you guys go try it and then I also got I thought I got two of these maybe I just got one but this is the honey crisp crunch dried apples I actually got this for Spartacus I love them but they are kind of expensive and I'm the type I will buy it for my dog before I buy it for me because he likes them just as much. So these are really good though to like snack on. Maybe I'll just have one because now I'm craving it. No, I see it. What's going on with my hair? Mmm. That's good. Spartacus, come here. So this is what they look like. Like I said, he loves them. Sit. Gentle. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Sorry, our floor is like really, really messy right now. I need to clean that up too. But anyway, those are super good. Also got a ton of blueberries for Trevor. And then a couple of just lettuce mixes. Just some extra baby spring mix. We have a huge box in there. But it wilts kind of quickly. So I grabbed an extra one just in case. And then I love the herb salad mix. This lettuce mix is so good. There's actually like pieces of cilantro and dill in here. Which just kind of like give you a fun little like flavor experience every few bites. I personally like to use that more for the like, salads and wraps and stuff. Then as always, my blueberry lavender almond drink. I use that for my coffees. And then another thing for sport, these beef recipe rolls, which is a staple in our house. This is one of his favorite treats. Sport, you want another treat? You are so spoiled, yes. Sit. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, I didn't tell you to do a damn thing. Shake. Ow. Other pop. Yes, you are so smart. You're welcome. 
like I said, he loves those. I also wanted to try this sweet Italian sausage four cheese ravioli. I have tried so many a Cherry Joe's raviolis, but I haven't tried this one yet. So, oh shoot, should I do this one with the sauce? Oh, now I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll do this. Stay tuned. Then I also got this that needs to get put in the freezer right away, but this is the Hold the Dairy mini coconut non-dairy frozen dessert cones and chocolate. I saw this recently and I'm just kind of curious. I'm not dairy free or anything, but it sounded interesting. So I'll give this a shot. Let me put it away. But this is a brand new item at Trader Joe's. Didn't want those to melt. Also got myself some frozen berries for smoothies. I want to get back on like my little smoothie kick just because we're doing a little day trip that'll require a bikini day. So I kind of want to get back on my like Hawaii diet routine just for a couple weeks just to tighten up a little bit. But I also got some brown rice. I love the frozen brown rice at Trader Joe's. It's so good. This is another staple that I always have in the house just because it's so easy to just like warm it up and throw it together as a side then all I have to do is like make a veggie and a meat and I'm set and good to go and I also love to make a like, very easy garlic fried rice with this I use the Trader Joe's frozen garlic and just some sesame oil and soy sauce and fry that all up together and it makes like the most perfect fried rice and then if you wanted to you could add like eggs veggies meat whatever I take it out of the box just because of like storage space. And that's the first bag. Then for some snacks, I got the white cheddar corn puffs. These are like the Trader Joe's version of Pirate's Booty. And then my favorite chip from them, the dark russet potato chips. That's some limes for Trevor because he's been making guacamole. And then another thing that's a staple for me every time I go to Trader Joe's, the dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips with sprinkled sea salt. These are divine. Then some of their truly handmade flour tortillas. I love these. These are the best tortillas that you can buy in store. They legit taste like freshly made. They're so good. Got a couple tomatoes, the San Marzano tomatoes, and then some grape tomatoes. A couple perfect bars, the dark chocolate chip peanut butter. And then this is the other ravioli that I got. This one's just like something that I can just store and keep for a little while, but this is the mini ravioli with cheese filling. I used to eat this a lot as a kid. This is very nostalgic for me. So I was just kind of craving it. And I was thinking I was going to use this with the new pasta sauce that I got, but I really think that the other ravioli is going to be better with it. I also, per Michelle's recommendation, got these soft baked snickerdoodles. I tried these at her place one day and they were so good and I like had totally forgotten about them until now. So grab myself a box. And then I also got the natural facial cleansing pads with tea tree oil. We've talked about this so many times been using it for years. Then my favorite fried rice, the Trader Joe's Japanese style fried rice. This stuff is amazing. If you don't like like traditional Chinese fried rice where it has like peas and carrots and stuff, get this one because this one is a Japanese style one and instead it has like edamame in here, tofu, and a little bit of seaweed but you can't taste the seaweed at all. And then finally the main thing that I went in for that we will try tonight is the Trader Joe's Cacio e Pepe pasta sauce. I love the frozen cacio e pepe and then I've also tried the ravioli. The ravioli version is okay, but I think that the frozen cacio e pepe is even better. So I like the fact that they now have just the sauce. So I'm thinking, like I said, I kind of want to do this with this tonight. So stay tuned. We'll see. And then I also did get some flowers. I want to do a little arrangement. I don't want to say it's like a fall arrangement, but it's definitely a little bit more fall inspired than my other flower arrangements. I'll go grab it. So I got these eucalyptus leaves to use as filler, but the main event are these mums. Like look at the coloring on this. It's so fall. It's like a soft red and orange and yellow. I think that they're so pretty. So I wanna put these together in a vase, which we'll do here in a second. I'm just gonna put everything that's perishable away and then I wanna put this together. I just cleaned this vase out. Please do not mind the mess that is the kitchen behind here. I need to get my life together. Our whole entire house is a wreck right now. But I'm gonna start out with the eucalyptus leaves. I've always heard about like how affordable eucalyptus is at Trader Joe's and I've never gotten it. And actually I feel like I really should get it more often because it's only four bucks or something like that. So not a bad deal. Let's see how much I need to trim this. I need to trim this a lot. Shoot. Although, actually, I'm wondering, maybe I should do the mums first since it's like the main part. Yeah, that sounds like a better idea. And then I'll just fill in with as much eucalyptus as I need and then any extras I'll find that I use for. But I am by no means 
an expert at arranging flowers. I am actually pretty terrible at it, so please do not think that this is gonna be like some very professional looking display. This is actually the first time that I've ever attempted to combine two different bouquets. So <laughs> we're experimenting here, but just putting in the little flower food, get some water going. I honestly can't get over how pretty of a color these are. Just like the perfect kind of fall inspo. These are really, really long and super tall. I feel like I should actually prop you guys up a bit. Popping you guys up here because we're basically just staring at all stems. Usually when it comes to mums, I like the bigger ones that are like fully bloomed, but I just couldn't resist this coloring. I just thought it was the prettiest thing ever. So I'm hoping that these will still last even though they're not like big blooms or anything. It's actually a little bit crowded in here, but luckily the eucalyptus stems are pretty thin. Inside. Pretty. Okay. Maybe more in the center though. Oh, that's pretty. I hope. <laughs> like I said, I am no expert. Oh, this one does not need to be trimmed. I wonder if I should have used the wider vase. I mean, I do like this, but I think I do need the wider vase. Yeah, I just feel like everything needs more breathing room, so pull all this out. There we go. I feel like that's a lot better everything's not as crowded oh perfect and then i can put in more eucalyptus leaves because i feel like i i just want more i think i'm gonna stop there with these but starting to kind of get you know the fall vibes i like it but we're not quite in fall yet there's still a couple weeks left of summer <laughs> i think with the other eucalyptus leaves though i'll use those in the other days i'm just like too big stems left over just do like that maybe in the bathroom okay yeah i think that this looks good here in the bathroom adds like a nice little homey touch in here so sorry we are watching Grey's anatomy in the background but i have the sausage and mozzarella cheese ravioli here and the cacio e pepe sauce I mean, it smells exactly like cacio e pepe. And it doesn't say to like heat it or anything before you use it. So I'm just going to go in straight and hope that's okay. That much should be good. I'm not like a huge fan of like too much sauce. So just like a light layer. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to grab some Parmesan. Sprinkle a bit on. Giving the sauce and this new ravioli a little taste test. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sauce is good. Ravioli good. Those two together, total match. Mm. Definitely recommend. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Have you guys enjoyed? I'll see you in the next one. ET, I suck on me rapping guy. Told the homie why I want to kick it. It's been too long. Finna hit yeah. the function yeah. and then after hit the boardwalk. New fit, new watch, fresh kicks, boardwalk. Hit the spot with whole squad. Rolling up like big shot, big shot. Never is when I stop, hit that highway one, now we headed for the boardwalk.